A pleasant day, everyone. Yours truly is Teacher Marlene, and our today's topic is about the joint variation. This joint variation takes place when one quantity varies directly as the product of two or more other quantities, meaning there are more than two variables that are present in the problem. Some physical relationships like the volume and the surface area where more than two variables are included. The statement, A varies jointly as B and C, can be written into symbols A is equal to K, B, C, where K or the constant of variation is obtained using K is equal to A over B, C. Now, let us translate the following statements into symbols. First, V varies jointly as L, W, and H. This can be written into symbol V is equal to K, L, W, H. Next, the area of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base and altitude. So the symbol will be A is equal to KBH. Now how about this? The heat produced by an electric lump varies jointly as the resistance and the square of the current. The variation symbol will be H is equal to K R I squared. If you master the translation of phrases into symbols, you can now solve problems. Let us study example 1. If X varies jointly as Y and Z, and X equals 36 when Y equals 3, and z equals 4. Find a, the constant of variation, and b, the equation of variation. Using the statement, x varies jointly as y and z. Changing this into symbols, we will get x equals k, y, z. Then, if x equals 36 when y equals 3 and z is equal to 4, we can find the constant of variation by substituting these values. So, 36 is equal to k times 3 times 4. Multiply 3 and 4, which is 12. Then, divide both sides by 12. The value of k is equal to 3. This is the constant of variation. Now, using the constant of variation, we can get the equation, which is by substituting the value of k, x is equal to 3yz. Now, let us solve problem number 2. If A varies jointly as B and C, and A equals 16 when B equals 4, and C equals 6, find A when B equals 9, and C equals 5. Using the statement, A varies jointly, as B and C, the symbols will be A is equal to K, B, C. Then let us substitute 
A equals 16 when B equals 4 and C equals 6. To find the value of K, so 16 is equal to K times 4 times 6. Then multiply 4 and 6, we will get 24. Then divide both sides by 24. 24 over 24 is 1 times k is k. Then 16 over 24 can be simplified by dividing both numerator and denominator by 8. So 16 divided by 8 is 2 and 24 divided by 8 is 3. So k is equal to 2 thirds. Now, the equation of variation is A is equal to 2 thirds BC. Now, we can find A when B equals 9 and C equals 5 in our problem. By substitution, A is equal to 2 thirds times 9 times 5. 2 times 9 is 18 times 5 is 90 over 3. So simplified into 30. So the value of A is 30. Let us solve problem number 3. The volume of a prism with a square base varies jointly as the square of side of the base and the height. If the volume is 72 cubic centimeters when a side of the base is 3 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters, find the volume when the side of the base is 5 centimeters and the height is 14 centimeters. First, let us translate into symbols the statement the volume of a prism with a square base varies jointly as the square of side of the base and the height. So in symbol it is V is equal to K S squared H. Then substitute the volume which is 72 cubic centimeter when the side of the base is 3 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters so we will get 72 is equal to k times 3 squared times h then let us square 3 which is 9 then multiply to 8 we will get 72 dividing both sides by 72, we will get the value of K as 1. We will get now the equation as V is equal to S squared H since K is 1. Now, find the volume when the side of the base is 5 centimeters and the height is 14 centimeters. It will be V is equal to 5 squared times 14. 5 squared is 25 times 14 is 350. So the volume of a prism is 350 cubic centimeters. Now, let us have this problem number 4. The volume of a right circular cylinder varies jointly as its height and the square of the radius of its circular base. If the volume of such cylinder whose altitude is 8 cm and whose radius is 3 cm is 72 pi cubic centimeters. 
what is the volume of the cylinder if the radius is 5 cm and the height is 12 cm? Again, let us translate the statement into symbol. The volume of a right circular cylinder varies jointly as the height and the square of the radius of its circular base. So with this, V is equal to K H R squared. Then let us substitute the volume of such cylinder which is 72 pi cubic centimeters and whose altitude is 8 centimeters and whose radius is 3 centimeters. So 72 pi is equal to k times 8 times 3 squared. The square of 3 is 9 times 8 is 72. Dividing both sides by 72, we will get k is equal to pi. Then our equation of variation is v is equal to pi h r squared. Then, what is the volume of the cylinder if the radius is 5 cm and the height is 12 cm? By substitution, V is equal to pi times 12 times 5 squared. And the square of 5 is 25. Times 12 is 300. Times pi, so we have... 300 pi. Therefore, the volume of a right circular cylinder is 300 cubic centimeters. Before I end this day, remember this. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress. And working together is a success. This is famous by Henry Ford. Happy learning everyone! God bless!